Hi everybody, it's Josh from Alternative Brewing and we're taking a look at the Sete models of Baratza Grinders. The model we're looking at today is the Sete 270. Now this is a premium espresso grinder, it's a step up from their previous model, the Sete 30 AP. It's still using 40 millimeter steel conical burrs, but there is an improved gear system which allows for less retention and better grinding accuracy. There are a whole bunch of new features to the Sete 270, so let's take a look at them now and see what we've got. So we're still working with a, a hopper up the top, uh, very similar to all their models. They hold 400 grams inside the hopper, but it's really up front where you see the first major changes in the control panel itself. Straight away, we've got presets. So you're able to set each one of those buttons, one, two, and three at different times. This is still a time grinder and you can adjust up or down by a 10th of a second. Uh, we still do have control stop, start grinding as we wish but these presets really do come in handy uh, if you know exactly how much coffee you need uh, and how long it takes you to achieve that, then you can just set each one of these buttons, press each button that you want, hit start, and it'll grind to exactly the time that you'd programmed it for. Directly under that, we're gonna be taking a look at the grinder adjustment assembly, and uh, we have fine to coarseness, moving from right to left, and we have 31 step settings there, but with this grinder comes extra grind settings. So you have your usual macro setting and then below that if you just need to fine tune your espresso by like one second or even half a second or so you have this micro adjustment. Uh, it starts from final which is A and you can adjust that all the way coarse to I. They recommend if you're going to be grinding for espresso that you have your, your macro on 9 and your micro on E. So that's generally where you would start off with brewing espresso uh, and this will also grind for filter coffees now it won't do french press uh, but it'll certainly do your mocha pot v60 and perhaps aeropress uh, the setting they suggest there for your filter is uh, a setting of 20 and then e so you are adjusting both the top and the bottom but that bottom one really will just fine tune uh, a little bit extra control in your grind further on down just below that You'll notice the third major change to this grinder is the adjustment device arms. These are now built into the grinder and you're able to adjust them by just pushing them in and then swiveling them inwards and outwards. And these are universal adjustment hands, so it's gonna be able to fit any porter filter. Uh, and they've also included a handy little basket holder at the top here, so you flick that around and then you're gonna be able to place your porter filter onto the arms and it will held in place. So we're literally grinding hands free now. And when it comes to cleaning the brazzas, it couldn't have been made any easier. So you're able to completely remove the hopper from the top of the grinder. Uh, and then removing the burr set from below, uh, all you need to do is dial it all the way coarse and a little bit further, and then you'll feel those burrs drop into your hand. And that is the inner burr. All you need to really do there is make sure that they're clean and free of any dust or oil buildup. And then aligning those burrs is really key, but it's made super easy. Uh, just line up the blue on the right-hand side of the grinder with the blue notch on the burr set itself, dialing it in uh, to fine, so anti-clockwise again, and you'll feel it grab and then tighten it all the way up, and it's really easy that way. The way this grind setup works is that there's pretty much zero retention left in the uh, grinder itself because you have a vertical flow of beans from the hopper straight through the grind setting itself, uh, and that way so nothing's left in the grinder. Still, the Sete 270 is a really great espresso grinder. It'll keep up with any espresso machine, and uh, Baratza have done a really good job uh, with adding these extra functions, which I'm sure will come in handy. I hope you've liked this video. Thanks for watching, everyone. Hit like if you like this video, and please subscribe, bringing out videos for you each week. Take care, and I'll see you next time.